Yo, what's up guys, Lord Sando here, and today we have episode 2 of the Profit Progression. So, the first thing I want to do today is actually get the Ignition Armor, because I have no armor right now, as you can see I'm currently in rags, and that's no good. If I want to be fighting players and NPCs, I want to have that 22% elemental and physical resistance that the Ignition Armor gives. Uh, that schematic can be found at Eresia, so that's where we're going to go right now. Before that, I want to talk about the sponsor of this video, Do Small and the Deep Organ Trading Server. So the Deep Organ Trading Server is the most established community of people who are interested in trading items and enchants. The Deep Organ Trading Server's management is led by very trusted members in the community such as Edgar, several Deep Organ moderators, and even myself and Agamatsu are mods in the server. The purpose of the server is to create an environment where trading is safe. Since the current systems in the game don't provide much protection against scams, we put it on ourselves to try and provide the service to you guys, the middleman service, where when two people want to trade, they drop their items to a trusted middleman such as myself, and then if the items are what you guys promised, then I drop it back to you guys in exchange for a fee. This removes almost all the likelihood that you get scammed, and there's no way to cheat the system. The trading server also has a ton of other cool events and features. For example, the owner is currently holding an event where the last person to leave the voice call earns 50,000 Robux. They also hold value discussions for the values of items if you want to figure out how much your enchant is worth. And they also post up-to-date news, uh, which may determine the prices and values of enchants. For example, the new Providence Spawns Primadon Cheese Strategy basically skyrocketed the prices of the Providence Vaughn enchant. If you want to trade with like-minded traders and use the middleman service, or if you want to be notified of changes like these, then go ahead and join the Deep Organ Trading server. The link will be in the pinned comment and in the description. Now back to the video. Later on I'm going to actually attempt to do the ferryman at a low level, but I'm probably just going to speed it up so that it's not incredibly boring for you guys. Uh, the ferryman is like the best way for a solo player to get luck early game. You can also gank people, but that's not really... That's not really something that's uh, reliable as you can easily get teamed and just die to people who are way higher level than you. So we are going to head over to Arisia right now and see what happens. As you can see I'm stacked up on calabash and mushroom soup so I'm not worried about food. That's pretty good. I'm pretty good as far as that goes. So my friend actually said that Air Force actually instantly block breaks if you upgrade it and it does like half of your HP. So if I get Air Force as one of my cards, then I'm actually going to take that, because I want to see if that's real or not. As you can see, I'm pretty heavily focused on Light Weapon right now, just so I can do more DPS to players and enemies. And after that, I'm going to go for my Intelligence, and then Gale Breath. There's a whole frigate there. Um, let's hope there's no one too strong. I mean, I'm down to fight them. They do want to kill them, but... Probably not the best idea at this early on. You know what? Let's see what they decide to do. How many is that? Is that one person? That's one person. Oh, looks like a pretty easy kill actually. Oh, that lag! Ayo! What is... Is not good. So laggy, dude. Oh! I was way too close. Oh my god. Dude, I... It's so weird using light weapons after playing on my main slot, which is medium. I it was so bad in that fight. I did so bad. That is inexcusable. Woo! My head hurts after that. What the hell just happened, dude? 
I wonder what level that guy was. Probably like level 20, I'd say. That was a good fight. No luck? Ain't no way. He was not above level 10. What? How was he not above level 10? This guy was doing mad damage. I had to get my HP up. Someone else died here. Oh, he gripped someone. That's crazy. Stop finding those bandits so I can... Ah, these guys are annoying as hell. Friend. Nah, you don't think shit, boy. <laughs> Make it quick. How many times are you gonna say that? That's no ignition on them. But it works, though. I'm gonna kill the shotgun real quick so I can blow up. Kill it pretty quickly. It's crazy actually. I didn't expect it to kill it that fast. Level up. Air Force, nice. I need this. What, you can aim that? I didn't even know. Extra so the dude who I killed earlier came back for more, and this time the server was a lot less laggy, so we got a much better fight. I feel like he's not bad at the game at all. He just, like most players, does not know how to deal with the dagger. The amount of pressure that this weapon can put out is insane, and if you're not prepared, then you just get hit over and over again, and that's what happened in this scenario. I also made my first use of Air Force, and in my opinion the spell is as intended, like it's really good in certain situations. Like I used it here, the guy dodged it, but it still gave me a ton of pressure, and it's really fast, it uses virtually no ether, and so it's a really good spell. And if I put Vibrant Gems on this in the future, I can make it do a lot more damage, so this is going to be a staple move in my kit. So I'm about to get him up against a wall, and I actually block break him and I make the most of it by move stacking and landing a 3M1, which is able to finish him off. Sorry bro, I need the luck. I need the luck, Lisa. So I just wanted to gain a bit more EXP here before leaving Arisia, so I went to the bandit camp and I decided to fight some of the uh, bandit captains. 
These Bandit Captains are pretty easy, but the Dagger ones are the ones that give me the most trouble. Uh, at like level 20, you should not be dying to these. It should be pretty easy for you. Um, but if you're a low level, then I can see how you die to the Dagger Captain NPCs. The heavy and the medium ones are pretty easy if you learn how to parry and perfect dodge their criticals. I perfect dodged this heavy's critical like quite a decent amount of times. I think he used it, uh, and there I perfect dodged an M1 as well. Um, perfect dodging in in PVE isn't as useful as it is in PVP, but it still can have its applications. Honestly, I'm not having any luck with the ignition unit normal, so I'm just gonna go back and try and fight the ferryman. So we arrived at the ferryman island, and I'm obviously placing down the campfire pit so I can summon him. I have to be relatively careful when fighting the ferryman, because I have no good armor, and my HP is really low at this level, so I've got to play it pretty much perfectly in order to win this fight. As well as this, the ferryman takes a ridiculous amount of time if you're not high level, so I think in total this fight took me like 40 minutes. Once you know the ferryman's patterns, he's relatively easy though. You don't really have to worry about too much apart from spiking and just being hit by a grand javelin in stage 2. Everything was going relatively normal in this fight until someone actually joined in the server and they came inside the place and I decided to just attack them because uh, ferryman scales with HP by the amount of people that there are and the amount of damage that it does so it just becomes a lot harder if you're that over random. As well as this, it's just free luck because this person's definitely higher level than me and assuming I can win this fight, it should be an easy way for me to get some luck. While I was fighting the player though, I actually got hit by the ferryman several times and that got me pretty low, but fortunately enough he also got hit by the ferryman, so that kind of evened out and I was able to effectively fight them and stop them from chugging potions and use the campfire to heal myself. Here he gets hit by three attacks and I, this is my opportunity to go and I know he's really low. Trying to pop his health potion, I stop him, and I actually manage to take him down real soon. I'm using the campfire pits to heal up when he's walking away, because I know that he also has health potions. I managed to hit him with my wind blade while he's trying to pop a health potion, which is a real lucky hit. And I use the opportunity to heal up, and when I'm finally confident enough, I go back and kill him. The rest of the ferryman fight was a whole 50 minutes and I didn't really come close to dying because I knew what I was doing, but uh, it may take a few tries on if, on your own if you're doing this, and especially at a lower level it becomes much harder to do. Just keep at it and eventually you'll be able to kill him. I killed it, oh my god, how long was that? So after I killed the ferryman, I actually reset and I got spawn killed by a max level. I guess karma kind of caught up to me. And so now I'm going to take the opportunity to show you guys how to escape the deaths at this level. Uh, right now I'm going to have to fight an angel, which is basically just a casual spear NPC. Um, the way that you want to fight against this is by parrying its hits and then just going ham and trying to block break it. And then you should be able to get some easy free damage off it. Especially with the weapons that I have, it's really easy to kill the angels, they die in a few hits. And as you can see, this angel does not put up any resistance at all. He dies like in one combo, and it's GG, just like that. When I return to Etris, I take the opportunity to middleman a trade, and <clears throat> in this trade, the fee was a Krillian knife, which I can effectively use on the slot, since I have over 60 light weapon. Um, this trade was for a, a Forge Great Hammer Book Blazing for a Curse of the No Life King, Legion Cestus, and a few gems. If you guys can become a middleman, then go for it, because this is an easy way to get free loot and items, so long as that you're actually taking the responsibility properly. On to my new weapon, I head back to the ferryman in order to farm some more luck. And let me tell you, the Krillian knife does not play around. This does like 10 damage more than the silver dagger, and that basically lets me kill the ferryman like 50% faster. 
With the Cerulean Knife, farming the Ferryman isn't tedious as it used to be, and it's actually an effective way to actually gain XP and luck at this level. This Ferryman run took me 24 minutes, which at this level is a pretty great time. Having mentally farmed the Ferryman enough, I head back to Arisia in search of players that I can fight and kill for luck and experience. The first thing I notice is that there are bags all over the place, which is a sign that a battle just occurred. I catch one of the survivors of the fight, running around like a headless chicken, and I take the opportunity to fight him. This guy is just kind of just uh, running around but spamming M once, I don't think he really knew what was going on in this fight, and I was able to dispatch of him pretty easily. Air Force in this situation kind of messed him up, and I don't think he was expecting that at all. So I farmed the bandits at Arisia for a bit, and when I'm heading down I notice that there are players all over the place, and there are ships shooting at the shore. And so I kind of just hide in the bush to be incognito, and hope that a battle breaks out so that I can sort of snake my way in and take the remnants of that battle. Unfortunately for me, nothing really significant happens, and the two people who were being shot at just sort of ran, and they came back to fight the guys on the ship, but the guys on the ship decided to disengage as well. So there was no fight, and I kind of sat here for 10 minutes and wasted my time. The guys who were on the ship actually came to the land, and I started attacking them because I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to try the one before you know how it is, you know, test out my skills. And the guy with his Y hander was probably like level 35, I would say, or level 40 maybe. And the other guy who I just knocked was probably around level 20. The other guy was a freshie, and I kind of sold the bag here. I knocked one of them. And I, he was on fire. I didn't. I should have kept on attacking him so that his friend was forced to take damage, but I did not do that. And he was able to pick him up. Only the freshie died, which is kind of unfortunate because that's the person who I wanted to die the least. Um, I was not able to win this fight, and kind of a major L on my part. I was taking mad L's on this fight. I did not parry enough hits, and just a general just bad loss for me. They did stay in the server though, so I did get an opportunity to redeem myself, and that is exactly what I did later on. So I decided to head to Songseeker to actually level up and use the luck that I gained from Ferryman in order to get some better cards. And I was greeted by two lightning NPCs, which is a pretty bad combo. Um, they actually got me pretty low, and I was pretty uh, worried about this because I wasn't able to break through the block efficiently. But eventually I was able to get one knock and the health pack, and all looks good. So I'm kind of just doing my thing, farming, and I noticed that one of the people from before is actually following me. And so I decided to head over back to the ship so I have the opportunity to run if I need to do that. Uh, but he's on his own, I notice, and his two friends are right behind him. But I have enough time to knock him before his friends come, which makes this a pretty favourable fight for me. I estimate that if I have to actually kill this guy and drop him into the water, then his friends are going to have to save him by picking him up and that will let me get free damage on them. And this should allow me to win the fight. I knock him really easily, pick him up immediately and then drop him straight into the water. And now the objective for them is to pick up their friends, which allows me to get so many hits. So many hits. This guy's already low. I'm spamming him with the Krillian Knife M1, his friend's down, two, both of his friends are now down with the Windblade, and I'm using the crits, I'm using the Air Force, this guy is in a pickle right now, he's fighting for his life, and I got the luck from his friend, he is not having any of it, I gripped him, I gripped them all, they are all dead, GG. I rub in my level count for good measure because the guy said something toxic when he gripped me last time. There's nothing that triggers people more than just straight facts. <laughs> All I have to do is say my level. I hit the biggest lick. This guy has so much loot, so much food, all of these good items, and I'm able to pick it up and make use of it for myself. I got kind of bored of farming at Songseeker, so I reset back to Etris. I noticed that this guy was waiting for me back at the town, and so I took the opportunity to assassinate him and kill him. Um, I don't know if he was one life, but I'm assuming he was. He was actually kind of messing me up with the dagger. I'm good at fighting with the dagger, but fighting against the dagger is hard. It's a really hard weapon to counter if you don't know how to do it. But I was able to get him with some move stacks. The air force, oh, that move is so nice. That move is so good. And without his friends, he is, he is uh, not a threat at all. And yep, this guy's dead. 
I go back to the antiquarium to see if I can sell the items that I got from their dead bodies, and yes I was. I got a lot of money and I think I was able to buy a new ship from this as well, which is really good because my old ship was just way too slow and left me a liability. I head back over to Ferryman and I do this so I can get some more luck before I start progressing some more. I haven't been too lucky with getting rare cards, I think I've only gotten three so far, but it is what it is, I'm not going to complain about that. The Ferryman at this level is just a walk in the park, and as long as I watch my HP, he does really not have anything that makes me too worried about fighting him. Um, I do a lot more damage now that I have Cruelly Knife and Nilly Max Stagger level, so this is really good for me as a source of luck. So I'm looking at my build and I notice that the one thing I'm missing is a good sidearm. I still have the flintlock, but I have the light weapon required to get a new gun, so that's what I decided to do. I go back to Summer Isle, where I started, and I went back to the shop in order to get a Dragoon. The Dragoon has quite a lot of damage, but it's pretty slow compared to the revolver, so I'm making sure to use it as an offhand weapon rather than dual guns. Using guns for mix-ups can be pretty reliable, and it's way better than using a shield. Uh, for this particular build because I'm not going to like actually be using a defensive playstyle. I plan on just being in everyone's face and being really aggressive and if I meet some mantra or moves that I can't really just tank then I will use prediction for that. Having obtained my Dragoon I feel a lot stronger and I don't think my weapon loadout is going to change much throughout the rest of this progression. I've maxed out both weapons and unless I get like an enchant then I don't see myself really changing from these. I decided to finish things up by just doing the Ferryman a couple more times just to get some more luck, and the Ferryman took me 11 minutes to kill this time, compared to the 50 minutes when I first tried it. This is a huge progression in both my skill, and my weapon level, and the actual weapon that I have, and it shows that like the importance of PvE um, level scaling, because you do way more damage to the higher level you, that you are. So if you try to kill the Ferryman like, at a really low level, it may take you a couple of hours even to do it. And I don't really think that's worth it. So level 20 is probably a sweet spot to go and try and do this. I increase my Gale Breath and this allows me to get to level 25 before finishing up. And the cards that I get are pretty mid. Um, I actually got Combat Kid which is probably the worst rare in the game. Pretty useless. Very situational. Uh, I take it anyway because I'm gonna lose my luck anyway. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next episode of the Prophet Solar Progression. See ya.